Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is just a quick video wanting to let you know that I've uploaded a video on my alternate platform that I would like for you to check out and share wherever you're able. If you have any kind of a platform or can make one, this might actually get some agenda stopped before we're out of here. You'll have to check it out to see what I'm talking about. I just felt led to do it. It's kind of a rant pointed at a certain group. I don't think it would be okay with YouTube. I'm not sure. It has to do with Halloween and kids and stuff. And SRAs. I shared that on BitChute a few days ago about what really goes on in the Buckingham Palace. Oh, I think I did mention it to y'all and used a picture of the royal family on my uh, thumbnail. I think I might have linked the video in the description box, maybe. So it kind of ties in with that. Yeah, it's kind of like my rant against it. I thought it's Halloween. How fitting to send them a message. I don't know if they'll get it. You know, do they pay any attention to us, really? And I think they pay these YouTube people. Just uh, There's some kind of artificial intelligence that censors our videos. They look for certain words we say. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, we're, whatever. You know, we just can't talk against certain things. and We have to be politically correct, right? <laughs> All right. Well, that's all I have to say about this. I'm going to end it here. Got to take my little doggy out for a walk. I went to the person who mentioned that my Jasper didn't look like Jasper. Let me tell you something. His hair grows like ours. And if I trim him different, by one time I cut his hair too much, he hardly had any. I was doing his photo album last night, finishing it up. I wanted to just get everything finished up. I've done my laundry. I've straightened up, put away all the laundry. Uh, I wanted to get that photo album. I've done that before when I thought we were about to be raptured. I was like, I got to get this photo album together and throw away all that I don't need and put away the paper. And, ha you know, <laughs> it's kind of like when you're going to have a baby. You want to clean the house. You get that surge of energy. You get everything cleaned up and ready. The nursery's ready. Everything's ready. Okay. And then usually you go on into labor because that's something God made us with. Uh, this surge of energy, the need to clean. I think it's called nesting. Well, it's kind of like that. But anyway, I was putting together his photo album, finishing it up, and I was noticing Gosh, and this one, his hair is so short. But I thought it was like right around this time, based on where they fell in the packet of, that came from Snapfish. That's where I get my pictures done. I do everything online. Everything gets delivered. Anyway, I was trying to figure out when was this, you know, taken and where to put it in the album because his hair was so short and right by it was his hair was really long so I'm like okay I must have just cut his hair right after these long hair pictures <laughs> anyway I just wanted to throw that in if you see this my Jasper does like us if I were to get a new do get my hair colored because <laughs> sometimes he looks whiter than others depending on the sunlight Sometimes he looks like a little light tan streaked in certain areas, depending on sunlight. It's the same. He's <laughs> there. I'm I'm convinced these designer dogs are chimera in a way. They took human DNA from our hair and made it where these certain kinds of dogs are hypoallergenic because they have human-like hair. They feel human-like. They don't. They're not like other breeds. <laughs> in odor and in lots of ways <laughs> so uh i don't know that's so funny but i mean god blessed me with this dog i can't really say well lord i don't think i should have got this dog he's hypoallergenic and has human-like hair 
<laughs> Seriously. I accept my blessing. He's a great little companion. He's laying here on my ottoman waiting for me to take him out. So I'm going to close this here. I'm going to probably be in prayer all day off and on for the children. I hope you will be too. I hope you're not taking yours out trick-or-treating. I really hope. Pray for those kids that get allowed to be taken out without adult supervision. Maybe a teenager or two takes them and they don't pay close enough attention. Pray for them. Let's pray for our innocents. Let's pray they get spared and that we get it to go outside at time before they get jabbed. Okay. All right. God bless each and every one of you. Let us all stay in prayer for one another, for all the saints. We're commanded to pray for all the saints. Ephesians chapter 6, and pray in the Spirit at all times with all manners of prayers and petitions, and for all the saints. We all need each other to pray for each other in whatever way you can. And continue to seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what I would do without it. My prayer life would probably be half what it is or less. Anyway, okay, I rambled on long enough. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.